this thing that you said about pursuing happiness, like the the, the pursuit of happiness. Mm. What what makes you happy, and what are you pursuing? What makes me happy is doing the things that I say I'm going to do, and fulfilling the things that I deeply desire. Um, what makes me happy is helping p- other people realize that what makes them happy and helping them fulfill their own desires. What makes me happy is lighting people up and making people feel good. And there's so many things that make me happy. And I, if you, if you have a pool of a hundred things that make you happy or could make you happy, it's like, how many of those am I checking off Mm -hmm. every single day? Mm -hmm. You know, working out makes me feel happy. Drinking water makes me feel happy. Reading and growing and learning makes me feel happy. Having a good conversation makes me feel happy being seen and heard and listened to and seeing and hearing and listening to someone else makes you feel like, so I think it's an infinite question, but just aligning with my heart, Mm -hmm. right? Aligning with what is true to my heart in any given moment and uh, letting that unfold. That that's what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. What makes you happy? A lot of overlap. Yeah. You know, a lot of what you just said, Uh, it's, the twinkle in somebody's eye after a special conversation. It's my family. It's my kids. It's the warmth of the sun on my face. It's when I actually do fully step into gratitude instead of having it be a productivity test because Andrew Huberman said it was good for my dopamine system. But it's like, no, actually, like, let me feel how grateful I am to be alive. Like, Mm. those are the moments I'm happy. It's travel. It's adventure. It's it's the things that fundamentally pull me into a sense of growth and challenge in a way. Like I love challenge too. I love getting after it in the gym. That makes me happy. Not in the moment necessarily. I'm like, oh my goodness, four more minutes of this. But afterwards, I'm like, I'm proud of you, man. So I think a lot of that too. Um, and yeah, it's been a journey for me to try and live more from that North Star of the heart and really follow in that stuff. And, you know, an interesting question then is, if we order happiness as kind of like one of our North Stars to pursue that, what happens when we don't feel happy? What happens when we're going through something? What happens when we're in the suck a little bit? Um, how do you navigate those being a person that wants to look for happiness and find many moments of joy, but also acknowledging the human experience isn't always going to be that? Yeah, I think it starts with acknowledging it and not resisting what is and having friends and people there and support system that you've built when you've been feeling happy that is there for you and can understand and guide you to being happy or in the vortex or feeling love or feeling joy. And so what happens is I think it starts small. When your world gets rocked, you just got to start small. You just got to start in the basic smallest thing that you can commit to every day for yourself that you believe is good for you. And when you're ready to get out of it, when you're ready to start feeling whole again, And that could be as simple as doing a journal entry every day. That could be as simple as meditating every day. That could be as simple as recording a video of yourself. Like you can choose it, but it's got to be small because Mm -hmm. when you're in that suck, when, if it's deep despair, you don't want to get out. Mm -hmm. There's some, something you're getting from being in that place. So you got to start small with proving to yourself that you can fulfill your obligations. You can do what you say you're going to do. Your word can be your wand. And from there, I think building on it as, as you see fit. Mm. Okay. So you go from meditating every day to now you're working out every day to now you're meditating and working out every day. Now you're okay. You're meditating, working out every day. Now you're meditating, working out every day and doing a podcast every Mm -hmm. day. Like this can get big real quick. If you, commit to daily actions and if you start small all right friends thanks for tuning in to another episode of radical health radio we got a fresh new podcast for you every wednesday if you enjoyed the show consider liking subscribing reviewing and rating us on your podcast platform it helps to spread this message of radical health we'll see you next week